Hey everyone, I'm the Train with Server Pro, and Mojang has recently released Snapshot 21W198 for Minecraft Java Edition. This update had some huge technical changes, but let's not waste any more time and get right into the snapshot. Candles, bundles, and skulk sensors are no longer available in survival mode or the creative inventory in this new snapshot. However, you can still access these items with the give commands if you want to obtain them, or if you want to get them in survival mode, then Mojang has provided a data pack on their change log for this update. Link is in the description. Additionally, the maximum length of item names in the Anvil UI has been increased from 35 to 50 characters allowing you to rename your items much longer names. Last week, some bugs were found relating to not being able to lead squids and glow squids. However, this bug has been fixed in this version. To start off the technical changes, Minecraft Java Edition is now using a more recent version of Java, Java 16. This will not change much of Minecraft's gameplay. However, it does allow for other new technical changes. New block tags called mineable slash axe, mineable slash hoe, mineable slash pickaxe, and mineable slash shovel have been added in this version. Blocks with these tags can be destroyed more quickly with the matching tool, and by using data packs, you can edit which blocks have these tags. Also, new needs underscore stone underscore tool, needs underscore iron underscore tool, and needs underscore diamond underscore tool block tags have been added. If a block requires correct tools to drop, such as diamond ore requiring iron or above, then these tags determine which tier of that tool is required. And again, data packs can change which blocks have these tags. The slash item command has also had its syntax changed in this version. Slash item replace target with item is the same as the old replace item command and can replace your inventory slots or items in a chest. Item replace target from source copies an item from a source, such as a chest or other player, to a target, which could be a different chest or a different player. And slash item modify target modifier modifies an item without copying it. And these modifiers are specified in data pack folders. For example, you can make one that changes the count of an item from one to three. And geodes spawn a lot less frequently now. So if you find one, be sure to take everything that you see, because you may not come across too many in the future. There are a few changes related to user interface in this new snapshot. For instance, Azalea and Flowering Azalea weren't part of the item or block tags for hashtag saplings in previous versions, but this bug has been fixed this week. Also, budding amethyst and copper variants were far away from their other variants in previous snapshots, Spyglasses were positioned with block types instead of tools, and spore blossoms were positioned weirdly in between real flowers. But all of these bugs have been patched in 21W19A. And previous snapshots wouldn't allow you to rename items with names over 35 characters, such as waxed, weathered, cut, copper stairs. But this bug has been fixed with the maximum character limit being raised to 50. And finally, Amethyst shards were not grouped with other gemstones in the creative inventory, but this item has now been moved in 21W19A to a more appropriate location next to all the other ores. And that is all for this snapshot coverage video. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, then please subscribe and drop a like. Also, be sure to check out the rest of our videos for content featuring mod and plugin reviews. If you'd like to read the full snapshot article page, then the link for the article will be in the description below. And if you'd like to create a free server for Minecraft to mess around with really long item names with your friends, then head over to server.pro or click the link in the description. Thank you for watching. I'm the Terrain. Peace out.